Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online. Well, do you want to have a look at another brand new car? How about this one? The Dinka Jester RR Sport, a brand new addition to the GTA Tuners DLC. I'm going to show you the modifications for this. This is a superb car, the Toyota Supra. One of my favourite cars of all time and I've left this one till last because I knew it was going to be very special. What do you think of this build? I messed around with this for quite some time. I'm actually waiting for one of the liveries to open up I'm almost at rank 97 and there's a good one I'm waiting for I really think the Rockstar have got this right with the GTA Tuners DLC and the level of customization and modifications and the way that you unlock some of the liveries and the modifications as you rank up with reputation it just works and for me this is exactly what I wanted in the game well, do you want to know more? Well, I'm sure you do, and you're gonna. It's me, Long Call Valerian Steel. Let's go. Well, this car is a flyer. It's a whopper, let me tell you. I mean, it drives like a dream and I haven't really modified this. For example, my suspension is just set to street at the moment, but I can go further with it. But I just think it handles brilliantly without pushing everything to the limit. Speed-wise, it's flying away and I tried it on the, the racetrack and it does go. I mean, I don't think it's comparable to the Toyota Celica. I, I think that that was probably a mistake and that it wasn't supposed to be quite that fast and beat some of the other cars but this is a fast car let me tell you that and there, there are some some speedy cars in this new tuners dlc i particularly love the new audi and the toyota celica but this is another fantastic car they just keep coming of course the new porsche that was released this week just blew my mind and i'm excited to see if there's going to be another car out tomorrow but you just can't go wrong with this and i've used this now to do a few missions with and it is just so much fun and look at the build on it look at the body the finish and it just looks so great with this pearlescent green underneath the black and the green livery well let's have a look at some of the modifications and how that looks so just what it looks like in stock uh, i chose red unsurprising but it, it just looks really good before you start messing around with it the front end in stock just looks fantastic and uh, you could do a lot with it and i really love the splitters that you can put here these kind of slightly aggressive looking splitters it just makes it look so individual and already just looking at it like this i just love the fact that the front end is that wide front end giving it that wide body appearance when actually it's not it's not it's not that wide and it's quite a short and compact car which i think helps it while you're driving and once you put a spoiler on it that just controls that back end but this is an all-wheel drive car which just makes so much sense obviously the all-wheel drive cars just hold better on the road the traction the acceleration everything is all in tune and you're not really sliding around and that's what i love when you hit the brakes it responds properly um i've had a lot of fun modifying this and as i said in some of my other videos after the initial customization i continue to modify it probably down at the lscm just to, to keep that reputation ranked pushing up but what do you think of these new hoods look at this it just seems more individual right i haven't seen a lot of this with some of the others there's a couple of vanity hoods as well which i really like there you go there's one um you could really go to town on this and make it yours when it comes to liveries and stuff like that it starts small with just a little bit of badging a little bit of branding but then it just goes nuts and actually all of them look good on this car but i knew i think i wanted something 
dark so that I could bring something out. I mean, I love that actually. Now I look at it, the jester. I mean, that's it's perfect, right? But I did like this one, and it comes in red and green. But I just like the way it looked in green, and I had this vision in my mind of using the secondary colors to sort of match out and bring out that color on delivery. And I think there's a lot to be said for using the livery to sort of make the colors pop and i'm i'm happy with the way that it looks and i i think bringing a pearlescent finish to it as well just gave the the primary color that bit more bang bit more zip um i know i can do more with this and i i've already just switched out the wheels as i unlocked something different and if you look at the, the beginning of the video you can see i've just unlocked the new mesh wheels which i really like um but i've also been looking at one of the other liveries as well which i hadn't unlocked and it wasn't available but it comes with rank 97 reputation which i've just hit but i I'm kind of nervous now to change the color because I, I'm, I like it so much, but maybe I'll do that in a few days. So what do you think of this? I mean, I really like the way this looks. I want to see your build. So if you want to add me on Instagram and, and at me there and mention me there so I can have a look at it and we'll take a look together. Thanks very much. I'll be back with another video very soon.